911. Can you come and take my daughter? Put her in jail. She's a thief. I threw the vase at mom, but it missed. Also, a violent person. Are you crazy, mom? What's wrong with you? Give me your phone. Mom ran outside screaming. My deaf BFF Tina was outside, and I was so nervous that I forgot the sign language and mistakenly told Tina to throw her juice at mom, which she did. And mom froze. Mom was a genius scientist, but also an impulsive and erratic person. I told you not to enter my lab. It has top secrets related to my experiments. I swear, mom, I wasn't stealing. I just needed some answers. Mom started walking towards me, but Tina threw a bagel at her. Girl, you didn't have to do that. I was going to hug her. Mom was still angry, and Tina misread her, so she hit her with a bunch of donut holes. Okay, okay. This is really crazy, I know, but my life wasn't always this insane. You should start from the beginning. Good idea. Hi, my name is Melody, but before I continue, please like and subscribe. My mom wasn't always a crazy maniac. In fact, she was the kindest and sweetest person in the world. She's actually my stepmom. I first met her in the ninth grade. She was my science teacher. At the time, I was really lonely. My dad and I had just moved to a new city, and I didn't have many friends. Excuse me? Yes, I did have Tina. She's my BFF and she lives next door. She's really smart. So smart that she skipped four grades and abandoned me to go to a fancy college across town. Abandoned you? Really? Yes, we did hang out on the weekends, but at school, I was all alone. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, somehow I'd managed to turn all the cheerleaders against me. It may have been because at lunch one time, I got distracted by this cute boy named Lance and I tripped over my shoelace. My lunch tray went flying and my spaghetti flew into the air and landed right on a cheerleader's head. And she wasn't just any cheerleader, she was the team captain. To make matters worse, her boyfriend, the football quarterback, walked up and slipped on my spaghetti and broke his leg. He couldn't play for the rest of the season. After that, I was a pariah. The whole school, even most of the teachers were mad at me. I hated everything about my school, except my science class. My teacher, Miss Peach, made science so much fun that when I was in her class, I forgot about how much my life sucked. Then one day during a parent-teacher conference, my dad saw Miss Peach and he fell in love with her at first sight. They started dating and after a few months, they got married. Things were great for a while. I even started calling her mom. Mom quit working at the school so she could spend more time with me and dad. We were a perfect happy family. Then my mom lost her mind. It started when dad got a new job. He had to travel a lot for work and was rarely home. So mom built a secret lab in our basement and spent all day and night inside. On her birthday, I snuck down there to surprise her for lunch. Hey mom, look, I got tacos and cake. My hands were pretty full, so I tried to set the cake and tacos down on the counter, but honey, don't. I accidentally knocked over a beaker full of the smelly green liquid. Melody's really clumsy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. The proper term is vertically challenged. Can I please get back to my story now? Go ahead. Once the liquid hit the floor, the green gas that smelled like a bag of farts filled the air. The emergency alarms went off, the room got all blurry, and the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. Some weird men in suits and dark shades took me to a strange room and asked me a dozen questions and gave me all these medical tests, but everything came back normal. But then, a week later, things took a turn. I was suddenly really smart. I mean, like, crazy smart. I had a photographic memory and could solve any math problem. I started acing all my tests, and soon I was at the top of my class. I told my mom about it, and she freaked out. I where she started spying on me. A couple of days later, things got even weirder. All of a sudden, the boys in school started noticing me. Hey Mel, can I carry your books? No thanks, I think I got it. Can I walk you to class? I'm sure I can handle it. And not just two or three boys, I mean all of them. In class, they fought over who would sit next to me. Hey, I was sitting there. No, I was here first. An hour later, a mob of boys were chasing me down the hall. Wait Mel, don't go. Even the quarterback. You remember him, right? He slipped on Mel's spaghetti and broke his leg? Well, even he couldn't get enough of me. Mel, I think I love you. What did you do to my boyfriend, you witch? She jumped into the air like a ninja and tried to kick me. I ducked, then she threw one of her pom-poms at my head. The thing really hurt. There was no way I was gonna win that fight, so I ran. I was so scared. Everywhere I turned, there were more boys and ninja cheerleaders, and they were gaining on me. Then Lance, the cute boy who had caused the spaghetti incident, appeared out of nowhere. He pulled me into a classroom, and then sprayed me in the face with what smelled like pickle juice. Ouch, you jerk. That stuff stinks. It's gone into my eyes. Why'd you do that? Quiet, they'll hear you. I stayed as 
quiet as a mouse as we peeked through the window. Suddenly, the crowd of boys started sniffing the air. Then they just walked off. The angry ninja cheerleaders followed. What the heck is happening? I wasn't sure that would work. Your mom's serum is stronger than we thought. What would work? What serum? The one you knocked over in your mom's secret lab that turned into gas and smelled like a bag of farts? We know all about it. We've been watching her. Who's we? We can't stay here. It's not safe. Follow me. Lance and I snuck out the window. We hopped into his car and raced out of the parking lot. He was driving so fast I started to get woozy. Can you please slow down? I think I'm gonna be. I threw up all over his shirt, and I was so embarrassed. After Lance cleaned up, he took me to a cyber cafe, and what he told me about my mom blew my mind. Your mom's a rogue scientist who's been in hiding for years. We got a tip that she was working as a high school teacher. I've been posing as a student trying to find her. I was about to give up until your accident. You have to help me stop her. She's dangerous. No way! That can't be true! Your mom was working on a serum that was designed to create a super secret agent. A highly intelligent, expert fighter who's irresistibly attractive. Why would a super secret agent need to be attractive? Not sure. It's a thing. Really? Yes. Some bad people want to get their hands on the serum. I need you to sneak into your mom's lab, steal her laptop, and give it to me. Lance told me the laptop held the formula for the serum and a bunch of other top-secret information that my mom stole from the government. Why can't you do it yourself? We tried. It didn't work so well. Lance showed me a video of my mom kicking a bunch of agents' butts. You're our only hope. The safety of the world depends on you. Melody, can I count on you to complete this mission? I looked up at his deep breath brown eyes, and suddenly, something strange came over me. Lance was always gorgeous, but now he was a vision, like he'd stepped out of a dream. I... I guess I could do it. That would make me so happy. Lance dropped me off a block from my house. I stood there in the street, watching his car drive away. I couldn't stop thinking about his handsome face and how his hand touched mine. Then Tina ran into me with her bike. Hey, watch where you're going. You're the one standing in the street. I told Tina all about Lance, the super secret agent serum, and my mission to steal mom's laptop for him. Hold on, you don't even know this guy. What else is there to know? Lance is beautiful amazing and charming, and what's he going to do with the serum when he gets it? Simple. He's going to... Wait, he didn't say. I'm not sure. I just have to help him. Why? I don't know. Oh, jeez. I'm so confused. Tina dragged me into her house. I told her all about the crazy boys in school and everything Lance said about the serum. Then Tina picked up a handful of pencils and flung them at my face, and I expertly dodged them all. What are you doing? Tina threw a trash can, a stapler, a teddy bear, and a math book at me. I caught the math book and ripped it in half. You were a super secret agent. Then that means what Lance said was true. Should we give him mom's laptop? No way. I don't trust him. I think he's a super secret agent who has had the serum too. Maybe that's why you went so gaga over him. Then it hit me. Tina was right. A super secret agent. A highly intelligent expert fighter irresistibly attractive. What a jerk. Lance tried to use me with his perfect smile, his incredible hair, his amazing amazing body and his focus. Yeah, you're right. Something fishy is going on here. We need some answers. That night, I invited Tina over to my house for dinner. Dad was home from a business trip, so we all ate together. After dinner, Tina and I waited till mom and dad were asleep and then crept downstairs to sneak into mom's lab. But just as we were about to open the door, mom appeared right behind us. Melody, what are you doing? Oh, um, I, uh, we were getting a glass of water. Water? The kitchen's that way. Oops, it's so dark down here. We just got lost. Night, night. The next morning, Dad was in his room sleeping, and Mom was still in her lab. So Tina and I decided to lure Mom out. My mom loves breakfast, so we ordered a bunch of bagels and donuts and a ton of other items I knew she couldn't resist. Tina put the food next to Mom's window. Wow, that smells delicious. Just as Mom walked out of her lab, I snuck inside, and you wouldn't believe what I found. Found. On her computer, I saw a bunch of files. I opened one and read that Mom wasn't making a super secret agent serum to sell to bad men. She'd made a love potion she used on Dad to make him fall in love with her. But it didn't stop there. I searched through Mom's computer and found a huge file on me. The green gas I inhaled from the accident made me smarter by the day, an expert fighter, and the most attractive girl on the planet until I was doused with pickle juice. The smell of pickle juice somehow made me less attractive. It all boils down to pheromones, a natural hormone that influences behavior. Tina, this is the most exciting part of the story. We don't have time for science right now. So, where was 
why. I was reading about pickle juice, and just then I looked up to see Tina outside the window signing at me. Abort! Your mom's coming back! I grabbed my mom's laptop and raced towards the door. I ran right into mom, and she went ballistic. You're working with them? You'll never get my secrets. Mom snatched the laptop out of my hand and smashed it to pieces. Then she called 911, and that's how we got to the part in the beginning where mom went crazy and Tina started throwing donut holes at her. Can we fast forward, please? No problem. Okay, we can start right about here. Mom was still angry and Tina misread her, so she hit her with a bunch of donut holes. I dove into the line of fire so my mom wouldn't get hurt, but one of the donut holes hit me in the eye. Then dad stepped outside. What's going on out here? Everything's fine. Go back inside and get some rest. No, mom, it's not. You've been lying to us the whole time. I know about the super secret agent serum, the love potion, and that you're a rogue scientist on the run. Dad gave mom a strange look. Darling, it's time you told her. You're right. I haven't been honest. I used to work for the agency, but then I wanted to stop and have a normal life. I did use the love potion to make your father fall in love with me. But once I got to know him, I realized it was wrong. So I stopped using it and told him everything. She's telling the truth, Mel. But what about the super secret agent serum and the government? I shut down the super secret agent serum project months ago. It was dangerous. All the agents who took it went crazy. That's why I have a file on you, because I was monitoring you after you got exposed to it, Mel. I should have told you, but I didn't want to scare you. Thank goodness you were fine. The effects of the serum should wear off soon. I love you, honey. Please forgive me. Just then, Lance appeared out of nowhere. That's really sweet, but I need more of that serum. Now. There's no more serum left. Mel spilled the last of it. I don't care. Make me some more or the deaf girl gets hurt. And Lance grabbed Tina and I saw red. I sprang into action and tackled Lance to the ground. He kneed me in the side and I punched his pretty face. He elbowed me in the nose and I yanked his gorgeous hair and he squealed like a pig. Ouch, that hurts. I guess the effects of the serum on him had started to wear off because I was stronger and managed to overpower him and tie him to a tree. The police arrived 10 minutes later and arrested Lance. He was wanted in 10 different countries. He didn't even work for the government. He was the one selling secrets to the bad guys. I told you he was lying. A couple of weeks later, the super secret agent serum wore off and my life went back to normal. Every day after school, mom invited me and Tina to her lab to work on secret experiments. One day, a special agent showed up at our door with a special mission to save the world. So what do you say, girls? You in? Yes, of course. <laughs>